What's up, everybody? This is your boy, the Trill Collector, man. Coming to you guys with a big review. Before we get started, man, I just want to tell you guys, thank you for checking out the content, man. Thank you for stopping by and taking time out of your day or whenever to still check out the content. Um, if you're new to the channel, man, uh, thank you guys, man. Also, if you are stopping by, go ahead and hit that like button, that notification bell, and that subscribe button, man. It really helps the channel grow more than you guys would ever know. Uh, so, with that being said, man, um, today we'll be looking at the newest manga dimension uh, figure as far as Dragon Ball Z goes that's been released. Um, I know recently we've had the Ultra Instinct Goku. We've had the Super Master Stars piece Bardock. We've had the... Uh, overseas in Japan, the Super Master Stars piece, Gogeta. But as far as uh, Grandista Nero's go, this is the newest one. This is the newest Manga Dimensions figure that has been released um, in Taiwan, in China, actually. Um, I just got word yesterday that um, a lot of my friends overseas in Japan don't have this figure yet, and which unbeknownst to me, I thought that, you know, the guys over there would have this figure but you know i was told that it does not get released to them so they have to wait a little bit for it which, which sucks you know so um but nonetheless i was able to get my hands on this bad boy man and uh this is one of the figures manga dimensions wise the one i was really looking forward to um solely because this particular sculpt this particular form of vegeta has a lot of sentimental value uh, to me, and I'll get into that with you guys shortly. Um, but like we always do, guys, here is the Toei animation stick of authenticity right there. There is the Grandista Vegeta. Sorry, I'm trying to get that glare off, guys. Him in this nice window box. A little bit of back art there to show. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this boy, man, for you guys here. While we're <coughs> doing this review so so yeah man this is this is a figure man that I was really really looking forward to um, reason being because I have the original Grandista Vegeta um, that was actually my first Vegeta figure that I actually uh, ever owned so that one there has a lot of sentimental values my first Grandista figure as well so really has a lot of um, importance to me so um, this figure right here man like I stated really has a lot of sentimental value to me and you guys can see man <laughs> I hadn't unboxed him until now so you know forgive me if it's taking a little long to get him set up with his foot stand here but perfect oh well, I'm not gonna use that balance he's pretty well balanced but here he is right here guys this is the base form grandista nero uh vegeta um this figure is based off of the grandista nero sculpt um just like every other manga dimensions grandista figure we have is based off of its counterpart from the grandista line and this one is no different than this bad boy right here so as you guys can see, this this one here is terribly balanced. I have to hold him up. Um, this one right here is based off of this Grandista Nero Vegeta figure here. This figure came out, I want to say, in the latter part of 2016, 2017. Um, and it was one of my first uh, figures that I ever owned, actually. Um, this is pretty much what started my collection, was this bad boy right here. Um, I remember seeing this dude inside a GameStop in a mall here in Houston. And I end up picking him up, man. And I've had him ever since. So this figure right here is pretty much what started me into really getting into collecting Dragon Ball figures, um, you know, heavily is this bad boy right here. But like I was stating, man, um, this figure is based, the Manga Dimensions version is based off of this figure right here. Same scope, just a different uh, paint scheme on it and all of that. So one thing that I really like about this figure, man, it's definitely the way that it's painted and the shading and detail on this bad boy. Um, this figure here, man, I mean, like I say, mangas are just pretty much in a league of their own. Um, there's no other figure, in my opinion, that can really, 
you know, as far as paint scheme goes, that can really stand a light to Manga Dimensions figures. Like I said, they're just in the league, league of their own, man. Um, this figure um, goes alongside perfectly with the um, Grandista base form Goku that's been out for quite some time as well. And funny thing about it, that was my first Manga Dimensions figure. And unfortunately, I don't have him here at the moment, but I will be doing a review on him. So as um, soon as I'm able to, you know, to dig him out, man, I'll definitely uh, show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of this uh, figure. Um, another thing that's pretty cool about it is that I really like how they um, gave this figure a little bit more detail within the battle damage on Vegeta's... Um, I don't want to say undergarments, uh, but pretty much it's like his 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 um, bodysuit, I guess you could call it that. The one that he wears typically, oh, you know, under his sand armor, his battle armor, you know. Um, this one here, as you guys can see, is kind of lackluster. You know, it, it's, you know, just a regular PVC ABS figure, you know. So it's really, you know, just kind of, you know, uh, no big deal. But this one here, man, I really love how they gave it that contrast as far as the darker blue um as far as like on his quads and all of that you can see here how they've actually gave it like a different shade so it kind of distinguishes from the rest of the body which i think is pretty cool um pretty much like i say it's his portrait is is spot on um and that's that's i mean hair wise i mean it's it's done perfectly now if you do have the grandista nero uh, Vegeta, this one right here. One thing that you guys may notice um, that with the Grandista Nero version, with this one here, um, it came with an extra piece. It came with like a keychain scouter, right? This one didn't. It's just a regular uh, Manga Dimensions figure, you know, that, that came standalone, which I think is pretty cool. Um, just like the Super Saiyan Vegeta that I re reviewed a while ago, exact same thing that one does not have the interchangeable head but it does have the super saiyan head that it's sculpted with so you know kind of you know takes a trinket lose a trinket type type thing but i really prefer that it's you know it comes just the way it is you know gives its own personality um so um if you acquire where, where i got this figure from i got this figure from a member of my uh smash group miss yvonne chan um, with Global Figures, a uh, really, really awesome individual. <clears throat> uh, every time that, you know, she has something new, she uh, definitely hooks you up with that, man, if you inquire about it. Um, really rapid and really uh, responsive with shipping and all of that. Um, pretty much, if you order it like today, she'll probably ship it out either tomorrow or the day after, so really quick turnaround with that. The only downside with getting figures now, man, is that the postal service now, man, is getting swamped. You know, they, they are getting like slammed right now. And, you know, getting stuff from overseas, man, is really taking longer than what it used to, you know? So that's kind of a downside with everything right now. Um, I paid I paid for this figure, man. I paid right at 90 bucks for this figure um, from Miss Yvonne. So that's pretty good, including shipping and all of that. Um, this figure, I'm not sure when it gets a US release, um, but I think maybe within the next couple of months, it should get a U.S. release alongside the, uh, re-release of the MSP trunks. So those are two awesome, uh, Monument Dimensions figures you guys want to get your hands on. So, um, I highly recommend this Monument Dimensions figure to anybody that's a manga fan like myself. Um, really standout piece. It really goes great with the Grandista base form Goku. And if you're a Vegeta fan like myself, man, it definitely, definitely, uh, belongs to your collection as well. So, um, if you guys are um, interested in this figure, man, like I said, head over to Smash Collecting or go on Facebook and uh, look up Missy Bond Channel with Global Figures. You know, uh, shoot her a message and she'll definitely respond if you're uh, interested in this piece. Um, so, with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and end the review here. Like I say, awesome piece, man. Awesome, awesome piece. Highly recommend you guys go and pick it up. And if you guys are over on Instagram, man, uh, head over there, uh, follow me at Trill underscore Collective 512. Well, there you'll see this this bad boy here and all my other figures I have in my collection as of day to day. And like I said, if you're on Facebook, can't say this enough, man. Head over to Smash Collecting, join up with this awesome group of people and get your hand on this figure and any other figure that your heart might want, man. So 
Uh, we just where we're gonna end it. And like always, man, this is the trail collector. So as always, keep a trail and keep collecting. Until next time, bye.